Hey guys, so today I'm here to do my August book haul because July went so fast. I finished summer school, I got a tan, a bunch of stuff happened in July, but it just went so fast. Um, I also broke my book buying ban just a little bit. Um, I was on a ban and now I'm back on again. Again, I've been on a ban since the 4th, which means I bought all these books within a four day period. Oops. Um, so yeah, I will start off with the books that I got for review. So the first book that I received for review, my, I painted my nails and they're still kind of wet, is The Forgotten Land. Lehman Prince of Egypt by Josephine Kelly. Um, I have not read this yet, but it has fairly decent font and it has pictures. So I think it'll be a quick read and I can't wait to read it and see what it's about. Then, and also for review, I received Sea Change from Tor, and this is by S.M. Wheeler. Um, I don't know much about this book, but I know a bunch of my other booktube friends have it, so I'm excited to read it because I love getting books to review, I really appreciate it, and it makes me feel special. So now we move on to the books that I purchased. Um, most of them, if not all of them, were bargain books or were on sale, so I don't think I paid full price for any of these, um, but I will start with just random ones because I have a lot of books on my desk. So the first book I got is The Girl in the Steel Corset which is from the Steampunk Chronicles by Katie Cross. I'm assuming. Um, the cover looks okay. It was $7.99. Um, so I know it takes place in like olden times and it's magic I think in like Victorian era so like kings and queens and stuff um, but then I also found the sequel to that which is The Girl in the Clockwork Collar also from the Steampunk Chronicles by Katie Cross when I first picked up this one I didn't realize it was in a series because when I scanned it on Goodreads it didn't come up as a series um, but then I saw this one and I'm like, those covers look vaguely similar and the author and everything, so I've also found this one on sale, so I picked this one up as well. And then, I think it's only a duology, um, that I picked up is Monument 14 by Emily, Emmy Laybourne. Um, it looks like it's a natural disaster kind of book, um... I guess. And I got this one for I think 30% off. So whatever 30% off of 11. I think that's about 4 bucks off. I think. Um, plus tax. But then at Target I found the sequel called Monument, Monument 14 Sky on Fire also by Emmy Leiborn. And I got this one for 25% off. So, I saw them both and I figured, why not? This one I got at Walmart though, so I didn't know I was going to get this one, but it was on my Goodreads as books I wanted to get, so whenever I see them, I'd rather pick those up than pick up books that aren't on my Goodreads to try and keep my Goodreads list down. And then I picked up some more books that were in a series, and I'm hoping this is the first and second. I think it is, but I'm not 100% sure. Um... So I got The Goddess Test by Amy Carter, and this was on my list. This was $4.99, um, but I took the sticker off. And this has been on my list, Goodreads list, wish list for a while. And then I saw this one, Goddess Interrupted by Amy Carter. So I think it's the second one, but... I'm not sure. I think it's about like goddesses and gods and stuff. I'm assuming. 
And then I think this is the last series that I picked up. I feel like this one's first. Um, I got these both for $7.99. So I got The Iron King by Julie Kagawa. Um, I've just seen so many people reading this book, or the series, I guess, because I think there's four books and then a spinoff or companion series. Um, so I wanted to get it. I think it's about fairies, but I'm not sure. And then I think this is the second one I picked up, The Iron Daughter by Julie Kegwa as well, because it was also a deal. And I think these look so pretty um, on the spines. I like the different colors. So I think that's pretty. So this book I did not purchase, but my brother gave it to me because he doesn't read. And I guess he got this book from somewhere and he gave it to me. So it is Daniel X Game Over by James Patterson. And I I know James Patterson writes a lot of series and very long series. So I don't know if this is one of them. But it says inspired by a graphic novel. So maybe it is a standalone. On Goodreads it didn't come up as being in a series, but you never know. So then I bought two books I've already read because I read them as ebooks, but I wanted to have a physical copy of them. And yeah, so the first one is Every You, Every Me by David Levithan. I read this as an ebook from the library, and it wasn't my favorite book, but it was um, a bargain book of chapters for I think five bucks. And I would reread it because the pictures in this version are colored pictures as opposed to the ebook I read where it was like black and white. So I didn't hate this. I think I gave it four to five stars, but I'm not sure. I think I did a review on it though. And then this one I didn't buy as a bargain book, but I bought it because I want to get it signed in September. And I just love this book. So I read it as an ebook from the library, and that is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I love this book, 5 out of 5 stars all the way. Um, it's It looks scary, and I thought it was scary when I first started reading it, but it's not. Um, it's about a little kid, and his mom is sick, and this monster starts appearing. Let's see if I can find a picture. Um, there are like cool kind of pictures in here. So like, yeah, there's like half page pictures or like border pictures. And I just love this book so much that I was planning on buying it anyway, but the fact that I can get it signed is just an even bigger plus. And I will reread this book over and over and over again because it made me cry and for good reasons. And I like books that can do that. And then I think only one other of them I didn't buy on sale, so I'll show you that one. And I think I'm also getting this one signed. That is Who Done It by John Skeska. Skeska. Sorry. Um, this is a murder mystery kind of book. Um, but it's got a bunch of other authors in it. I think I did this in a library book haul. I'm not sure, but I never ended up reading it from the library. So those are some of the authors. And then there's another list on the back. I don't know can read then but yeah they my bookstore didn't even have it neither of them um, the one that I have to drive to chapters and the one that's local um, so I actually had to place an order on it and yeah I'm happy I got it so I want to read it and hopefully get that signed the rest of these are bargain books I will start with the two I got at chapters oh wait this one wasn't a bargain book um, I got Tithe by Holly Black because she's also going to be there in September, so I wanted to get this signed. She wrote the White Cat trilogy. No, that's not what it's called. It has a name to it. Curse Workers, I think. That's like red, White Cat, Red Glove, and Black Heart. Um, this book is teeny, and the page, like, it's a small book. Like, is it like full for it? Yeah. Um, so it should be a quick read. I think it's like a fairy tale retelling. I'm um, not sure. That's what it says on the back if you want to read it. 
Cool. Um, so I'm assuming it's fairies. But I like the cover. I think the cover is so pretty and so cute. And I think there's more in this series, so I will probably get the rest of them if I like this one. Now this one was a bargain book from Chapters. I got Such a Rush by Jennifer Eccles. I've seen this book everywhere, and I know I've seen this everywhere because of the cover. I've never seen a cover like this. Um, and I don't know, I just wanted to get it, and it was only like four or five bucks, so for a hardcover, brand new. So I kind of had to get it. I had an obligation to pick this book up. And then the next three I got at Walmart for 40% off, I think. So I got Letting Anna Go by Anonymous. I said that with um, Go Ask Alice, I think it's called. And it was by like Beatrice Sparks or something that they just use this as like a pen name. So I don't know who this is by, but I think it's about an eating disorder. So... And it's again written in like diaries. I think. Yeah. So this should be a quick read. It's again also a short book. Um, so that, that's really all I can say about this. And then one. Um, on 40% off, I also picked up Joyland by Stephen King. Um, I had picked this up from the library, but it was one of those stupid you can only keep it for a day and then they start charging you. I didn't know that. Till I went online and it said I owed them like a dollar because I'd had it for three days. And I was like, um, like you'd think when they're checking the book out they would tell you, but no. So I bought it. It's about like a theme park, as you can tell by Stephen King's work. It's probably going to be scary. Um, so excited. I've started buying a lot of Stephen King books. And then I didn't think this was by the author that it reminded me of because I didn't know he wrote books. Um, but apparently he does. So I got An Object of Beauty by Steve Martin. Yes, the actor, so like Cheaper by the, no, is that cheap? Cheaper by the Dozen, Pink Panther, um, gosh, he's in so many movies, but I can't remember all of them. Um, I didn't know he wrote books. This is an adult book, though, because I want to start reading adult books. Um, I don't think it's even supposed to be funny. Um, it's about wanting to go to New York, and ambitions and I guess wanting to I think it's artist I think it's art yeah and then this book I got for 30% off and I wanted to read it because it's a tv show now and I want to be able to watch this show so I've started recording them on my PVR but I haven't watched it because I haven't started the book and yeah so this is the one I'm probably most excited for and it is Under the Dome by Stephen King that is over a thousand pages and is so much bigger than I anticipated. And teeny tiny font as usual for Stephen King, but I'm excited. It's got to be good if they made it a TV show. So I'm very excited. So yeah, that is my book haul for August. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.